Praise be Jesus Christ. When the Roman Empire made Christianity its official religion, the church went almost instantly from being a church that was on fire, a church of martyrs, a church of confessors. It went from being a church that was on fire to being a lukewarm, politically correct church. And that's why we had the Desert Father movement in the fourth century. These men and women fleeing to the Egyptian desert to live a life of faithfulness to the gospel. And the Desert Father movement had a massive impact on the church and on the world. And then shortly after the monastic movement with St. Benedict in the West and other monastic movements had a massive impact on the church. And then later in history, we had the Franciscans, the Dominicans, the mendicant orders, these communities trying to be faithful to the gospel, massive impact on the church. And even later, at the time of the Reformation, we had people like St. Philip Neri, St. Teresa of Alva, St. John on the Cross, having these, what I call remnant communities. The Desert Fathers, the Benedictines, the um, Mendicants. These were remnant communities. Small groups of people, Christians, who were just trying to be faithful to God's Word. And they persevered and eventually, you could say, saved the world. Because we know that it's only the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ that will save the world. And it took little remnant communities to save the world. And I believe we're living at a time where in many parts of the world today, when we see countries that were once very Catholic, very Christian, becoming secularized, and the faith is almost being completely lost, we just have to acknowledge that we're at a time of the remnant. And my question for you is, are you part of a remnant community? Do you have fellow Catholics who are honestly and sincerely trying to be faithful to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ? Because we need you. We need remnant communities today in so many parts of the world. I want to read to you from Maccabees, 2 Maccabees chapter 5. But Judas Maccabeus, with about nine others, small group, that's like 10 people, got away to the wilderness and kept himself and his companions alive in the mountains as wild animals do. They continued to live on what grew wild so that they might not share in the defilement, just like the Desert Fathers just like so many movements. And so, again, my question for you, are you part of a remnant community trying to be faithful to the Word of God and trying to preserve our beautiful Catholic faith for the salvation of the world? Viva Cristore!